Hey guys, Welcome with Shots, welcome back to a video here today. So, we are going to be doing a speed test between my Galaxy S8 Plus and my Galaxy S23 Ultra. And I already recorded this once, but after editing the video, it's a mess. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to power off each device. Now, this is at 37% and this is at 70 because usually I don't have to charge this before I go to bed. So, yeah, um, just to get up more power. But we're just going to power these off. Because I want to see what their startup time is with the batteries completely off, the phone completely off, not the batteries completely off. So if I turn these on at the same time here. So we can get those boot up screens. Sorry for the lights. That's going to be a problem. Let me actually flip these around. So old, new. So I was editing the first part and it's, just, it's a mess. So yeah. I had to go in, re-record stuff, and come back, which I just I just don't want to do. It's it's kind of annoying. So it's gonna see, and the video is like twenty two minutes long, which I don't want to make it. Well, that's interesting. Let's boot it up first. Why did that boot up first? Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. I I think that's a fluke. I don't think that's correct. So give me a second. And also, what I should do for this test is to turn off Nova Launcher. I don't know how to actually go from Nova Launcher back to Android. Well I don't actually know how to go from it. Oh, here we go. One UI. Just once. Alright, there we go. Wow, it's so much worse. It is so much worse. Right, so we're going to do that again because I don't think that was fair. Because I think Nova Launcher on this phone, um, it uses One UI version 6 or version 5. And you have to go up here to turn it off. So, once again, I'm going to power that off because I, I want to say that's a Nova Launcher thing and not a Samsung thing. So, yeah, I, I think that's a fluke. Um, this did turn off faster and it did vibrate. All right, so now we're going to power these on at the same time. And see which one, because I don't know, I find that kind of weird. That turned on faster. Now it's got the same amount of apps on both, realistically speaking. So I don't, I don't actually know why it would have started first. Now if it does it, get, yeah, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> that makes more sense, okay. Okay, I didn't know that. Nova Launcher actually makes the phone launch faster. That is... That is something new. I never knew that. No wonder this phone used to restart, like, like no tomorrow, but unlocking it, right? Oh, now it worked. It didn't work before. I'm probably going to build my screen um, just once. Um, so this is what it's like without Nova Launcher. This is why I use it with Nova Launcher, because look how laggy it is. All right. Okay, so... Now that's out of the way, I'm now going to turn my ISO down because I've actually just whacked on Task Manager. So, I'm going to go through all the tests I did before. I'm going to go over the other ones first, the unlock test. Now, to do this, I'm going to have to do this one by one. So that's on the SA+. Plus. I forgot I don't have to do that. What I am going to do is, because this is a nightmare, trying to get the phones to actually be in focus doesn't work, and now... With this, so we'll do this again. There we go. And then with this one, boom. I'd say they're neck and neck. Is it hard? On here, it would be hard to do a fingerprint uh, reader on the back on here. Uh, I wouldn't want to do it that way. So I say they're neck and neck, to be honest. I am going to change the shutter speed ever so slightly so I could actually turn the ISO down. Sorry, I'm messing with my camera settings. Some apps, I'm going to check if there's anything in my drawer. Um, let's see when I move. God, ew, gross. That was horrible. 
I'm going to close everything. We're going to open up Instagram first. And as you can see, um, as you can see, I don't know what that is, but that sounds funny. Without Nova Launcher, this thing is horrible to use. You guys seeing this? This has less, ba less battery life right now. This has less battery life, and it's able to do all this. This has the most battery life, and it's struggling to even load anything. That's adorable. So, that's adorable. So, if you're um, thinking about getting an old phone, Axolotl, um, you, best to run Nova Launcher, because clearly, that is slow as hell. Um, oh, that's going to bug me. What I am going to do is, is click Always, because every time I hit the Home button, it's going to ask me for, for the pop-up. Now, let's open up YouTube. Also, Playboy Cardi released some music called All Red. So, there you go. Oh, crunchy, crunchy. So, once again... Wow, this is much worse than it was before. I'm so glad I'm redoing this test. I'd say it's a bit better. I don't know, maybe... Sometimes Nova Launcher can make stuff worse. So, that, actually, I say is almost neck and neck. And I'm recording at 60 FPS, so you can see the, um, the frame rate. But le even leaving the app is slow. Now, let's go over to... Uh, Twitter, which, oh, that's annoying. So, the great thing about Nova Launcher is, it lets you remap icons. So, now it does the stupid X icon. Um, this time, there shouldn't be anything weird on my Twitter feed. Not that I follow anything weird, but it was because I had another account, which I used to follow, um, hentai accounts, or whatever. So, yeah, if you didn't know. And Twitter, Twitter on here is horrendous, by the way. If you're on here for too long, I do follow some things. This is just crony. Um, on here, if you're on Twitter for too long, it just likes. <laughs> wow. Look at that. So, iPhone 10, iPhone 16. Like, I hate when people say, it's the same phone, bro. Like, this looks like the S24 Ultra, but the hardware inside is what's changed. Like, when they release a new car every year, it looks the same. No, it's what's under the hood is different. So, yeah, so that's that's Twitter. Now, you're wondering, why have I got the navigation bar on here? Because the way that gestures work on here is horrible. Um, you got to swipe from the side instead of swiping up. So that's why I don't like using it. So, yeah. <laughs> Next, um, I should have installed this. I completely forgot to install it, but I'm not going to because it just runs like garbage. So TikTok on here runs so bad for the heat of my phone so i'm not gonna do that now let's open up some basic stuff like gmail which clearly does load a hell of a lot faster i'll probably hmm, is there anything on here important that i have to blur no that's why i'm gonna record this because i was using apps that i had to blur a lot of shit because which was annoying um i'm just gonna open up the drawer here so i can find stuff so let's open up fred's um, so clearly, clearly gonna run a whole lot better, you know, especially new apps, which are just not built for doing this. Um, can't believe Apple is shipping this. What's wrong? Can anyone tell me what's wrong? This post can't believe Apple is shipping this. I don't get it. I'm not an Apple user, so I don't get it. Oh, I see. Oh, it's the fact that third-party developers haven't updated their icons, but realistically, I can't tell. So, n not an issue for me. Here's a, here's, a, here's a great way to not deal with Apple. Just get an Android phone. So, oh god, yeah. People have been installing threads to Blackberries, which is wild. Um, even leaving the app takes a hell of a lot of time. If ignore my home feed, this is what I used to use just before Nova Launcher. It's a mess. Um, now let's open Chrome, which go away. Opening Chrome here. 
and swiping through stuff here. You can clearly see the difference in here. So, um, we'll do one simple thing here. We'll go to... LTTstore.com Last time I did that, I went to LTT Slow or something else, and it just didn't work. So, boom, that loads better. Also, LTT has a new screwdriver, a new precision screwdriver, but I already have a precision screwdriver. It's called I Fix It. <laughs> um, no, I can hear a cat me on. Um, so, there we go. Also, I will put the specs, by the way, on the screen. So the specs of the SA Plus and the specs for the S23 Ultra. All the color, like the main specs, I just realized my camera is actually not centered. So that's going to bug me in post. So yeah, all the main specs will be on screen. Now, let's go to the Geekbench scores. I didn't do this in my original recording. That's why I'm doing it now. This from here. So if I go into history, by the way. And by the way, when I did this... When I did this, right, I was able to do the, or even just loading it, I was able to do the GPU benchmarks while this was still doing the CPU benchmarks. So as you can see here, a significant uh, upgrade uh, overall. I'm going to actually just whack back to all the focus. A significant upgrade, you know, single core score 418 versus 2007 or, 2000, two, or 2107. And then the multi core, it's just night and day difference. You know, also running Android um, 9 versus 14. And yes, if you didn't know, by the way, Android is a Linux um, fork, basically. It's 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 basically a Linux. So, and what I'm going to try and do in the future is find myself a Linux uh, distro that looks like Android because Android I've used for years. And if we head over to single core performance here, you can see what other devices can be uh, be a good comparison. So, for example, the S3 Ultra is not much different to uh, the S23 Ultra. Um, and if we go into multi-core here, you can see there on the multi-core. Now, if we go to... I mean, I could show you the specs of the device, actually. So, if I just go into... I think, is it benchmarks? So, we go benchmarks here. They go to benchmarks here. So, we can see that on the S8 Plus, you got four... You got one cluster of four cores and another cluster of four cores, one at 1.69 gigahertz, nice, and another at 2.31. But on the S33 Ultra, we have, you know, what was it? Cluster one, three cores, which are two gigahertz. Cluster two, four cores, which is almost three gigahertz. And then cluster three, one core, which I'm guessing is like an efficiency core. As you can see, you know, the this runs an Exynos chip. It doesn't run a Snapdragon chip, where this does run a Snapdragon chip. So all the Samsung devices had uh for the uk we got exynos chips which to be honest they're not as good as the snapdragon ones but they seem to last that was at the test of time here so this is the 8895 from samsung and weirdly enough my galaxy s5 actually has an only has a uh, snapdragon 805 in it it never had a different one now i haven't ran the gpu benchmarks on here because it would take too long so I didn't run it. I could I could run them to show you. So if we go to benchmarks here, yeah, if I click on run GP, this is just using OPGL. And then if I go over to here, history and go to GPU, uh, there's the GPU OpenGL score. So what I will do is you can see this is gonna take a hell of a long time. I will put the GPU score on the screen for you. So let me just back out on here. Um so yeah, in future, I will put the GPU score on the screen so you guys can see. But overall, um, I'm going to leave that run. Overall, the S, uh, S23 Ultra is a hell of a lot faster than the S8 Plus. And I hope that gets done before I can do this video. Um, what I will do is as well, all the stuff I re-recorded, I'm going to have to redo it again because I'm not using Nova Launcher. So I actually can use some of that re-recorded stuff, like the Bank App one, which I think if you, you've you seen the specs, you've seen the score, you could probably justify that, oh yeah, this is 10 times better than this. Actually, I'm not sure what times it would actually be. I'd have to look that up and do the math for it. But you can clearly see that this is way faster than this. Um, it does hold up. It does hold up today. I mean, I've been using it for six years, but clearly this is way better. The other app I could probably show you in the meantime, well, that's, can that do it in the background? 
I don't know. Oh, no, it does cancel it. All right, whatever. What I'll do is I will get the average Exynos uh, GPU speed to compare it. What I want to compare before we leave off here is... Uh, let me just search it up. Um, okay. There we go. Kind of bust app. Now, you're probably thinking, Josh, <laughs> does this... Oh, you can clearly see. Look at that. This this is the app I use always with my buses. And if I scroll out here, you can clearly see that it gets unusable. And it's nine, half nine in the morning right now. So there's going to be a lot of buses out. There's going to be, you know, number 11, number nine. You know, it's practically unusable versus this, which is so much faster. So yeah, that is the Galaxy S8 versus S23 Ultra Speed Test. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the camera comparison between these two. I'm going to try and do the camera comparison for both photo and video in one video. But word of warning, it will be a long video because I like to be thorough and I like to give you guys my opinions versus other tech YouTubers who just like go spend 10 seconds on a photo and then move over to another photo. It's just like, really? That's not really doing justice for the devices. If you're wondering, oh, what can I watch in the meantime while these videos take a while to come out? Well, check out my video about the AJAZ AKA20 Pro uh, keyboard. This is a really great keyboard. Check the video out on this, which I will have up on the screen right now for you to click on. Anyway, I've been Welshman Shots, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.